Hello, uh, dear colleagues and uh, invited guests. My name is uh, Vidyuborsky Vladimir. I am from uh, Technical University of Moldova and will present, uh, present uh, my uh, work done with uh, cooperation with uh, Medical University of Moldova. Okay, so um, I will uh, report um, uh, kind of progress in uh, my current, uh, our current low, um, job. It's um, was uh, done for a low power constant current driver for implantable electrostimulator of the lower esophageal sphincter. So, uh, regarding the introduction, actually, the implantable stimulators were first presented in the uh, mid 60s of the uh, last century. And um, uh, from year to year, we uh, see uh, more wide uh, usage of uh, stimulators like uh, cartel, pacemaker, like uh, neural. Uh, stimulator and some others. Uh, 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 from medical point of view, one of the novel application of uh, implantable stimulation is gastric electrostimulation with direct modulation of the uh, lower sphincter tonus. And um, exist um, a lot of um, studies that uh, reported a very efficient uh, met method of stimulation um, of the lower esophageal uh, sphincter. Um, in the same time, uh, the traditional, like like the traditional stimulators, are relatively um, uh, big devices, and uh, usually they are using um, uh, some batteries to store it and uh, having uh, implantable electrodes. And from uh, this uh, part, I also begin some interesting because uh, if you have some foreign body in your uh, uh, organism, organisms begin to react and this could uh, result by encapsulation and uh, change in impedance. So uh, that's why uh, implantable simulators uh, are usually, usually uses different types of modulation via uh, constant current or constant voltage. And uh, in uh, our work, we will um, describe more constant uh, current power sources because they could adjust uh, their output to uh, change its impedance of electrons, uh, while constant voltage uh, um, so current sources, they are not adjusting their output. So it could uh, result in um, assuming less energy for stimulation. Uh, so. Uh, <laughs> Our technical um, schematic was uh, used in prototype of implantable stimulator, and this prototype was successfully tested on uh, laboratory animals uh, during uh, the test. Uh, traditionally, for current uh, current driver, uh, um, constant current driver is used um, like combination of uh, digital to to analog converters. Uh, but um, like it was um, described in many applications, uh, um, but uh, this solution is uh, providing a good um, good output um, characteristics, but has some um, properties like uh, high current uh, consumption, especially in uh, dead period, like for max uh, 57, 057. And uh, but we have found another um, uh, <coughs> we have found uh, one application. It's for um, the uh, next slide. No. Sorry, next slide. No, I, I'm still uh, wanted to, to discuss this slide. So uh, here you, you could see uh, schematics of using of a double operational ampli amplifier, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, it allows to control the output current. Uh, so on this schematic, actually the output current uh, is controlled by uh, resistance of R9. So uh, we have only like. Uh, mm, uh, constant current applied, and uh, when we put uh, this driver turning on to a negative or positive um, 
uh, pike in any case we will receive only uh, stable output current and which is uh, also calculated according to provided uh, equation and uh, this solution has benefits like uh, low uh, general low power consumption especially of using of um, ultra low power operation amplifiers like OPA 2369 but uh, it does not have uh, the flexibility so for example if you need uh, to change the output current you need uh, all, uh, every time to change um, uh, uh, resistance of the R9 so uh, next um, uh, was uh, checked another application uh, with uh, combination of uh, operational amplifier and digital uh, potentiometer and uh, like on the next slide and uh, so in this case uh, when you are usually uh, using digital potentiometer it could be uh, give you more flexibility in uh, changing of output uh, current and moreover uh, you could control it uh, digitally with uh, any uh, microcontroller so uh, here we will move to the uh, next slide and uh, uh, so um, during uh, literature uh, review was found one application from the texas inst uh, instrument regarding um, it was uh, like a verified design of high side voltage to current consumption one, one second. I'm sorry. So in this design, uh, what we see? It's, uh, we see uh, double operational amplifiers uh, with uh, additional two more sets for uh, current regulation. And uh, from uh, this application, uh, we have um, possibility to uh, control of output uh, current also with uh, changing of uh, schematics uh, values like presented on, on next sliders and uh, moreover for uh, this application uh, is uh, able to uh, make and uh, to provide simulation in a space-based uh, software so uh, we could uh, check almost uh, every uh, output parameters depending of uh, mm, system uh, variables and uh, uh, output characteristics like uh, applied uh, impedance so uh, we could um, in this um, case provide uh, very uh, very precise uh, modulation uh, and um, of uh, output characteristics. So, uh, and um, we uh, actually modified uh, this uh, design in order to uh, receive the output uh, diapason in order to zero to ten millimeters with changing of. Um, uh, um, of the uh, values of uh, potentiometers and uh, actually um, uh, computer uh, simulation uh, confirmed that uh, in uh, range uh, of output um, of uh, not output uh, then in range of um, electrodes um, impedance from one to two kilo ohms uh, we always uh, we we have uh, almost the same output uh, current so the current output current is very stable uh, and it's actually not depending of the impedance of output electrodes so here you could see the um, actual uh, modulation and similar uh, comp computer simulation that we had applied and uh, on next slide you will see uh, the schematic that uh, schematic uh, uh, developed in uh, specialized uh, software it was in this case uh, eagle um, autodesk eagle 
So uh, here we combined the all information uh, from um, existing uh, literature uh, resources. So we used the text instruments uh, application of uh, double uh, operation amplifier, and we added digital potentiometer. So we have digital control of uh, output current. In uh, this case, in a uh, range of uh, impedance from almost from zero to maybe, from one to uh, 2,000 ohms. Sorry, that is, we didn't uh, see your presentation. Sorry, Vladimir, we didn't see your presentation now. Yes. Uh, so for easy evaluation, of this, this schematic was developed uh, like an um, evaluation model with uh, test points. On the left, you see uh, the card development uh, PCB. On, on the right, you see the uh, actually assembled model. This was only for debugging. For a real um, um, prototype, it was much smaller. Like to say five to six um, uh, millimeters uh, of size. So, uh, and um, after assembling of elevation model, we have made several tests. So, uh, use it uh, precise load, um, uh, not capacity load uh, resistance, and we have checked it. So, uh, we provided, um, we changed the res uh, resistance of the digital potentiometer and measure. The output current, and it was very close, uh, very close of um, uh, of uh, the um, uh, modulation of um, the test, and uh, also uh, very notice is that uh, this circuit has very low uh, consumption current, up to, uh, up to only uh, 18 microamperes, which is, uh, I think, is very good results, and. Um, uh, on next slide, you see the actual uh, output of uh, during uh, of the oscillograph that was connected to implantable uh, uh, stimulators prototype, and uh, that was used during animal tests. So we just uh, connected um, oscillograph to uh, electrodes and uh, provided um, output current of six milliamperes. So uh, we could uh, finally uh, measure it, what is the impedance and the load impedance in a real uh, situation, a real animal test is about 266 ohms. So it's uh, inside of uh, a lowered uh, range of the output um, impedance, and uh, it means that uh, our schematics uh, re really works. So uh, discussion. Uh, a simple space efficient constant current driver with uh, digital control was developed and uh, it could be used in different biomedical applications, especially with uh, ultra low power applications like wireless simulators or other users. Uh, we uh, developed and assembled an evaluation model for easy testing, and uh, this schematic was also used during. Um, uh, Production of prototype of implantable stimulator with uh, confirmed effectiveness uh, that was done during uh, the animal test. Thank you for attention. Thank you. And now the session opens for the question, please. Question. Do you have any question? Uh, may I uh, put uh, one question? As uh, I see, you at first you have done simulation and then you uh, construct this um, module. Is right? Yes. And when we done simulation, we during simulation we determine component we, you have. Uh, Procure and so so we then after simulation we determine what scheme we have and what components you need. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, during the stimulation was made uh, uh, not the exact type of components, like to say, because uh, the existing. Um, library library of components that uh, could be used is not so wide. So uh, then uh, I have tried to make this simulation. I uh, used some, like to say, general types of op op operation amplifiers and um, some uh, maybe 
What you determine my, from simulation? I have determined that uh, um, for me it was important that uh, when the, uh, the um, impedance, the resistance of the electrodes placing is changing, so in any case, when resistance is changing, the output current will be constant. This is, uh, will be the most uh, important uh, result that I uh, should realize. Because in real life, when uh, some electrodes are installed in uh, organism, the resistance is changing during years. So mm -hmm. uh, uh, to have the same results of stimulation, it's important that uh, resistance, that scheme, your schematic, will react on these cases and will provide less or more uh, um, electricity to have the uh, stable results. So in, um, I have realized that uh, in uh, parameters that were selected, it's, it's mm -hmm. really working, and it is uh, really uh, working good. <laughs> yeah, thank And uh, other question? No? Well, thank you for the presentation.